couldn't sleep a couple of days ago, so I checked the Bitcoin prices and they're down. So I'm trying to find out what's going on and I end up looking at this article. Bitcoin drops to 29,000 and Sam Altman launches WorldCoin. So I'm like, are those two connected? Did WorldCoin cause the Bitcoin to go down? And what's WorldCoin? So I Google it and then I remember. It's that controversial coin that is somehow related to universal basic income and requires a retina scan. I know that the best thing for me to understand something is to try it. So let's do it. Hello and welcome in this three-part series on WorldCoin. This is part one, retina scan and orb verified. Okay, so they launched and oh, here it is. They have an app. Let's see what it does. Okay, it has some stars. Let's install it. Now, this is annoying. The first thing the app asks for is my mobile number. That's not good for a crypto related app, but let's move on. Okay, some kind of password for iCloud. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is pretty much what the app looks like. It says something about me being phone verified, but not biometrics verified. It looks a little bit like an ID card of some kind. It tries to look credible. Okay, and pretty much the only thing you can do in this app is to find a place to do a retina scan near you. Okay, let's see. The brass factory? Okay, this looks nearby. Let's book an appointment for tomorrow, actually in about six hours time. When I woke up the day after, I was ready for the adventure. Okay, guys, let's go verify that we are humans. Okay, that's the place. Brass factory. Okay, let's get our apps ready. The Brass Factory is a co-working center and uh, I had to wait a little bit because I was the first guy to get scanned in that day so they had to set up the orb and everything. Okay, so this orb thing is somewhat heavy. It's a real thing. It looks like a great device. I can see that they spent quite a bit of time designing and manufacturing this one. So you have your phone. So I'm going to click this, bring okay. up the app. Okay, so the first thing to do was to go back in the app and click that I'm with an orb and I want to get a new world ID. First some disclaimers, then a QR code, of course. Cool. So I click here and then you're going to show it to this. Are you ready? Yep. I'm a human. And the guy there helped me a lot by holding the orb. Okay, and then I'm going to hold it up and just, yep, perfect, right there is good. And you could see some kind of progress bar while it was scanning. Okay. And then uh, it's going to be going to fill up that. Yep, just click through that. Just keep clicking. Cool. So at this point, it's taking the picture, it's turning it into an iris hash, and then submitting it to the database to see if it is unique. Do that. And then if it is already there, then it won't allow it. But if it's not already there, then it will uh, put it into the database and you'll be verified. Wow. <laughs> I think I'm human. So far, so good. It says so that's yeah, it just says that sometimes. But it's actually successful. Yeah, verified. So happened to me. Yeah, it's nice to it's it's like you know you're pretty sure. Yeah. But it's nice I'm, I'm to be bye. Amazing. Okay, so I said bye and I left the place. Okay, I have to say at a human level. I just felt very happy to see people again. I saw those people in this co-working center and they were going having lunch. Yeah, I so much miss meeting people after all. Especially geeks, you know. <laughs> okay, back home. This process was easy and free and pleasant. And yeah, it was lots of fun. And it turned my proof of personhood card from white to black. It now says here, Orb Verified. But the question remains, what can I do with this? We'll see that in part two. Thanks for watching.